A few weeks ago, my friends over at a store here in Portland called Macus reached out and asked if I would be open to doing a t-shirt collaboration. Macus is my favorite clothing store in all of Portland, and the idea was to make a t-shirt showcasing a photo of mine on their handcrafted blanks, which we did, and pre-order is in the link down below. Go get yours now, but we'll get into that a little bit later. We also wanted to add a little bit of our own flair to this drop. So instead of just selling our collaborative t-shirts featuring a photo of Kendrick Lamar, Macus allowed me to pick out three different cameras at three different price points and sell them in store. So today on the channel, we are gonna talk about three film cameras at three different price points that I would recommend to anyone interested in film photography. We'll be starting at $100, going to $250, and last but not least, $1,000. So without any further ado, let's get into the cameras. So first off on the list, this is a 35 millimeter camera called the Pentax IQ Zoom. Um, there are tons of different variations of this camera. Uh, this is the 105 WR. And the reason I love this thing is because one, it is like $150, you can find them for really cheap online. It's a great starting point for a point and shoot camera. And two, it shoots great 35 millimeter pictures. So at the end of the day, that's all you want is a camera that takes good photos and that's what this Pentax does for me. I actually was able to find this Pentax still in box with all the accessories online for about $200, which is a really, really good price. And then you can find these for much cheaper than that if you're scouring the web. eBay, sometimes they'll always be on sale. You'll find them there. Camera shops have them. They're, they're pretty much anywhere you can buy used camera gear. Um, I love this thing because it's really compact. As you can see, it's the size of my hand. Uh, it's a little thicker than a normal point and shoot would be, especially like some of those more more high end quality point and shoots, but just because it's a little cheaper does not mean that it lacks any quality. I swear by this thing. I have showed people photos from this camera specifically, and they thought it was shot on a Contax T2 or a T3, which is like, those cameras are thousands of dollars and this thing ran me like 150 bucks. So if you are looking to get started into film photography, I highly recommend a 35 millimeter point and shoot. Um, you don't have to adjust any of the settings. You don't have to play with or tamper with any of the camera equipment. You really can just point and shoot and that's what they're famous for. It has an onboard flash as well. So you do have the option to get those cool flash portraits. Great starter camera, incredible bang for your buck. Um, you just load the film into the back here, pops open, load your film in there, it's automatic winder, close it, pulls the roll across, you take photos, pulls the roll across, take photos, and you just do your thing. So, Pentax IQ Zoom, whatever one. This one's weather resistant, yours does not have to be. So, love, love, love this camera. The second camera on our list is the Canon AE-1. This is a timeless classic camera. Uh, this is your stereotypical SLR single lens film camera. This is pretty much the camera you probably grew up seeing um, when you are looking for your first film camera. These are kind of the ones you come across as cameras with this kind of shape. Um, the reason they have the shape is because there's actually a mirror in here. So you're looking through the viewfinder, bounces off a mirror and then bounces off another mirror that you can actually see. If I take the lens off, there's the other mirror. So there's a mirror up there and there's a mirror down here. And what that does is allows you to look through the lens. So by looking through those mirrors, you're able to look through the actual lens of the camera. So single lens reflex meaning you can actually see through it and uh, yeah this is a great starter camera as well the only difference between this thing and something like the Pentax IQ zoom like I showed you guys before is that this is not automatic whereas this is this you get a lot more manual control over your camera although there is like automatic settings on this thing and you can put a battery in it and kind of get the light meter to do its job um, when you don't have a light meter in here or you don't have the battery for the light meter it is fully mechanical and automatic which is actually really nice to to kind of learn film photography. Um, I think for me, this is the camera that I started out learning film photography, not this one specifically, but the Canon AE-1 is the camera that I learned film on. Um, and for me, it was always putting film in this thing and then using my digital camera to figure out the settings and then just like copying that over to this. And that's how I learned. And it, it taught me to shoot manual. It taught me how to use a camera in manual settings and vice versa by learning how to shoot manual on this thing with my digital camera, or I started shooting nothing but manual on my digital camera. So they both kind of helped me learn uh, photography in different manners. And I just love the way this thing looks. I mean, it's literally just a piece of honking metal, very durable. You can throw this against a wall. I don't recommend it, but it would probably survive if you did. 
um, and it's just a great looking camera. I mean, you can get these things for around $250. So when I started photography, that would have been absurd to hear that, but now this is like a very good bang for your buck uh, film camera. Uh, if you open the back here, you can see how good of condition these things hold, and these things are old. These are like, this one specifically, this model is probably about 30 years old, and I mean, just look at the quality of that back there. It looks brand new. So you can find these things all over the place, any place online, you can find them at your local camera store, but we do have one of these for sale at Macus right now. I highly recommend it, and if you wanna head over to Macus and check it out, you should do that. So, Canon AE-1. Great, great camera, I love this thing. Now, before we get to the last camera, I did want to introduce my collaboration with Macus a little bit more in detail. All of these shirts are handcrafted in Los Angeles with a lot of love. Macus has spent years perfecting their craft and I can honestly say in full confidence that it shows in every garment. On the front, the t-shirt showcases one of my favorite photos that I took of Kendrick Lamar during his damn tour. On the back, it has the Macus logo and the Jake Shams logo on a small hit behind the neck. And we also have the handcrafted Macus tag. Now, I just wanna say this isn't your typical tour merch t-shirt. This shirt has a lot of love put into it from the textures, the fit, the print, and more. Basically every aspect of this t-shirt has been designed by Macus and put a lot of thought into every single aspect of the entire t-shirt and it feels incredible. One of my personal favorite t-shirts. We will be having an in-person event this Saturday with an exclusive amount of shirts for sale as well as all three cameras featured in this video. Come by, say hi, and chat all things camera and fashion. Now let's get into the final camera. So last but not least is the Fuji GA645. This is a 6x45 medium format point and shoot camera. People compare it to the Contax T2 as far as point and shoot goes, but this is the medium format holy grail point and shoot camera. I love this thing, I've had it for a while now and it's kind of come with me in my bag whenever I want a little bit more quality as opposed to like a 35 millimeter camera, but then want the accessibility like a point and shoot camera. It has a 60 millimeter F4 lens, which is the equivalent of like probably a 30 millimeter lens on medium format, somewhere around there. It also has an incredible auto autofocus feature, uh, the autofocus on this. I haven't missed, like every single time I use this camera, the, the autofocus just hits. It's absolutely incredible. It also has a flash, an on-body flash, which like for a medium format camera to one, be this small, two, have autofocus and, and manual focus controls both built into it, and three, have a flash on board built into it. Like that is very hard to come by. I would argue that this is probably the only camera that has all of those capabilities built into one. This camera is a little bit more expensive than the other two cameras. This will run you about $1,200 if you are looking to get one in pretty good condition. My favorite feature about this camera is not only that it has all the features that I've already talked about, but that it is a 6.4.5 camera, meaning it's actually shooting photos vertically on film. So when your medium format film comes across this and you're shooting photos here, you can see that it's more vertical than it is horizontal, which means if you wanna take a horizontal photo, you actually have to turn it this way to take your regular horizontal photos, or you take it this way to take vertical photos. And with that being said, because it is a smaller frame, you get more photos on a roll of film. So on one roll of medium format, you get about 16 photos, give or take. And I think that's awesome. Usually you get like 10 photos on a roll of medium format. So the negatives are a little bit smaller than a normal medium format negative, but just because the negative is smaller, Smaller, you're not sacrificing too much quality because this lens is incredible, the autofocus system is incredible. It is really lightweight. It's easy to carry around with you, it's portable, it has these two areas for straps, you can just put it around your neck, take it on your day. So this one is a little bit more expensive like I said before, but you are getting a lot more bang for your buck as well. So this is kind of like the holy grail of medium format cameras in my opinion. Fuji GA645, highly recommend this thing. So cool, so clean looking. So that's it, three different cameras at three different price points. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. And just a quick note, the collaboration with Mac is, is live. You can pre-order your shirt down below. And if you guys are in the Portland area, please come to the event. It's from 11 to three on Saturday and I will be there hanging out, chatting with you guys. So if you're in the Portland area, come through, come hang out. Even if you don't like cameras, if you like anything, just come by, say hi. Thank you guys so much for liking this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe down below, greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.